Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. Hello. 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 <laughs> all right, this is a, not at all our third attempt at doing this episode. And all right. why would you even think that? Why? That's a that's a wild thing to think. That's a very uh, that's some precognition you've got there, son. All right. What happened to my mouth harp? Oh, it's in my lap. That. All right. Um, okay, so to recap, the two attempts we are t we we're gonna have to get a spiral borer, which means we need to level up and get tinkering too. Right now, we're just oh, did you already preserve your food? I didn't have any to preserve. Well, let's have a look at your food then in the ingredients. We're, we we seem to have a lot of oh, it's your energy cells that are uh, up to nine. What is taking up? Oh, dreadroot tuber. We can make some salves. That's what we can do. For some reason, okay. it puts dreadroot tubers in food and not in, like, I don't know, uh, scrap or ingredients. I don't know. It's it's a difficult thing to figure out. Caves of Cud uh, items are complicated and... Um, there. Perfect. Can we make two of those? No, just the one? No, just one. What about rubber gum injector? Yeah, make one yep. of those. Perfect. Just that just gets rid of that ingredient in your inventory. We've saved two pounds. We did it. Yay. Um, we'll make we'll make one last check to see because we're carrying so much stuff right now. Uh, I'm a hoarder. What do you want from me, man? It, it's a problem. I, I it's because I am teaching you, and I am a hoarder. <laughs> it's a problem for sure. <laughs> uh, energy cell. We could. Do you have? You have uh, some uh, water skins of uh, of oil, right? Okay, yeah. cool. Let's disassemble those uh, combustion cells. We don't need that. Um, last time you did this to me, you tricked me, and I got covered in oil. I mean, uh, if you disassemble it. While it has oil in it, you will be covered in oil. Although that is no longer true, apparently, in the latest Caves of Code update, um, he, uh, your character will now place the oil next to you instead of covering yourself. Which means I will never be accidentally... I'll never accidentally kill my character by disassembling a thermal cell and then covering myself in lava, which I'm kind of sad about, to BH. Oh, I guess that wine... that uh, water skin was... Full. It's full. Yeah, just cover yourself in oil. It's fine. I don't wanna. Okay. Well, then don't. Then. What if I get lit on fire or something? In the next five seconds? It could happen. Okay. Well, I mean, you know. Is uh, it worth starting a second one? No. I, I, honestly, 64 drams of oil is barely worth it because we only really want it so that we can make friends with robots, and you only need to share one dram. Oh, golly. All so right. Unless you plan on making uh, 64 uh, robot friends, I honestly think it would be worth splitting your water cell. I'm, just, I'm pouring it in this guy's house. That's fine. He doesn't mind. Uh, sorry, mister. Hey, mister, do you mind if I pour this oil out on your floor? Here, let me let me give you the other side of that conversation. Why, yes, that's so good. Actually, I love oil. I need it to cook my food. You giving me oil is a good thing. Thank you. There you go. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Wonderful. All right, we're still over encumbered. We have, we're 30 pounds. Wow, what is happening? How did we get to this point? Okay, oh, 86 uh, pounds are taken up by wa uh, water containers. What's going on there? Um, okay, we do have a lot of algal water. We do have 62 drams of salt. Honestly, mm -hmm. I'm going to recommend um, we dump out half your oil and half your salt. That's what I'm recommending. Can I... Can I, can I put half in another thing and sell it? You can do that. I usually don't do that because I'd rather, prefer to keep the water skin, but you can do that. I won't stop you. 
So it feels bad. It feels bad. While you do this, I'm going to talk uh, just a moment about the benefits of algae that I've come to become aware of in my pursuit of um, becoming a better cooking and gathering uh, person for my Caves of Cud tutorial episode, which will be coming out uh, soon, TM. Um, I didn't realize it, but Caves of Cud actually has a clever uh, way of allowing you to farm. I didn't understand that. I honestly thought that Caves of Cud was just like cooking, gathering, and like you can gather fruit from trees and dreadroot tubers and all of that stuff. But like, n none of those plants will uh, will ever like give fruit again. They'll never ripen again. Um, and so I always thought like, well, that's you know, there's no you can't can't uh, farm in Caves of Cud. But I was wrong. There is a very interesting way uh, workaround for farming, which is algae. Um, and this is for the benefit of people at home. Um, if you cook with algae, you have a potential to um, make friends with plants. I mean, that's a potential benefit of it. But also, um, you have the potential to learn burgeoning. Burgeoning is a mutation that lets you grow plants. It's basically like Caves of Cud's very strange version of like summoning creatures to help you. And um, those plants more often than not will bear fruit. Uh, the more you level up burgeoning, the more rare plants that you can summon. And so basically it becomes Caves of Cud's very backwards way of farming where you're like summoning plants uh you're buying honey i was trying i didn't realize how expensive it was don't don't just keep talking don't worry okay. about me all right um you could buy oh those luminous horseshoes are very expensive uh what's a, so what's a humble pie get me uh so you if you eat humble pie it, it it's ego death it actually kills your ego oh that's i can't decide if that's stupid or funny I'm going to go with funny for now, but probably stupid. There's a very, very rare instance in which humble pie is actually useful. Uh, it's when you make a mental mutant. And um, if you get too powerful as a mental mutant, you actually get put on the kind of the lattice. Um, you know those, the novice of the sightless way that you've been encountering? I've, I've met them, yeah. Yeah, uh, they are all followers of Pato. But also, they're all men mental mutants, and they're all um, part of this kind of large network of men mental mutants that you know kind of telepathically communicate as well as like cycle hunters and if you become powerful enough then you get put on their radar and eventually you get hunted down by psychic hunters um the way you combat this if you become too powerful is you can eat some humble pie and therefore shrink your ego just a little bit just enough that you're no longer hunted as is often or is at least not by as many dangerous assassins it's fun stuff go. all right mm -hmm. i'm glad we could fill that uh, water management with some actually useful tidbits all uh, right and then i merged my honeys together because i had two honeys nice got me so i've got two empty water skins again um we still have quite a lot of stuff we're carrying maybe melee weapons what are we carrying in our melee weapons oh let's look Let's look. Okay, we have an electrified carbide folding hammer. We could probably sell that because I, I believe we have a better one now. Um, actually, all of that is good for selling. So. All right. Is but there like, someone better I should be buying from? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Ural. Ural is an actual general salesman. Oh yeah. So like. Um, just to touch one more time on uh, on the benefits of algae and making friends with a consortium of Fida. Uh, if you are better friends with a faction, they will give you a better deal when you're buying from them. So, you know, that's a thing. Uh, you could buy that small stone. I'm pretty sure that is a recoiler for um, Kya Kya Kya. There you go. And I still I, want that thousand. Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking at that. I was like, yeah. what is it? What is it? What so if we it? eat a banana awesome. and come back, can we find out what it is? Um, there's a, 
there's a combination recipe um that would let us find out what it is yeah not the one that you usually do um if we combine bananas with um vine water sheaf then we can learn a recipe that lets us learn all the artifacts on the tile uh, at a 25% chance whenever we drink water. And so that lets you uh, actually figure out what some of the artifacts that some merchants will sell. Now, does he have anything else? I've never used cucumber before. That preserves into pickles, and they're basically oh, the same as salt. I could get a couple water skins. Yeah, that's something. It's got a real cool scoped electro <laughs> Yeah, he does. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Well, yeah, Kikuka is not a great place for trading. I this this is fine. We'll get rid of our water. Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> some more bullets. If only he had like some silver nuggets. Oh well. Yeah, buy a couple water skins, I suppose. You buy all those water skins, and then uh, it's actually lighter than if you get the water. Yeah. Alright, that'll have to do, and we'll have to we'll have to make do with this amount of weight. Ugh. 182 grams. We got a lot of books. I don't know. Is that, I guess books yeah. don't weigh much. No, they do. They they can they weigh one each so when you have a lot of books you have a lot of weight but uh, it, it's not a good time to make a trip to the stilt let's uh let's you know fill this episode with some actual stuff action well action lights camera death in the ruins yeah let's go that one we'll pick a different ruin this time and down. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's make our meal. Uh, camp. That way. Use it. Choose ingredients. Now, I believe we are still trying to find, get our, like, perfect combo of Hulk Honey and Skulk. Um, I'm probably always going to recommend mixing that with bone meal, but it, the problem with bone meal is that you are going to run out, and then if we do get a perfect combo, it's not going to, we're not going to be able to make it very much, so we could just do a dram of salt. Let's hope for the best. Nope. Ah. Uh, I mean, it. So it does give burrowing claws. Oh wait, I was thinking of the other one. Well, you have burrowing claws. It's fine. Let's at least dig. You, at least you uh, get. Yeah, you can dig again. Also, reload your gun. I've had a couple of comments talk about how much work the uh, the two bullet sniper rifle <laughs> rifle has been doing. Yo, can I get some team sniper in the comments, please? Again, I like I like it. It's just the reloading is. Oh, I under I completely empathize. Oh, that's a good find. I want all of them. Yeah, you want all of that stuff. Let's take them all. Um, I completely empathize. It's one of the reasons I don't go. I like I I love bows and rifles because I like you know killing something in one shot versus five. Um. Something and chirped. Something chirped. Southeast. Okay. There's probably a turret over there. Yeah, oh. this certainly is. It's a laser turret. We want that, those. Oh, there it is. That's a good thing. I'll stop being in a gunfight with a laser Oh, turret. my God. Give me bring, a bring. All right. Well, uh, you know, uh, that might happen again, but... Uh, we can hope that it is done for now. Uh, good, yeah. I gotta, I gotta commend you when the 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 good plays are there. I, I appreciate you rather than trying to fight it at range to um, closing the gap. Well, it's a gun, so. 
Um, a reminder that charge is a thing. I guess so. It's always a it's a good idea when when you're fight wanna if when you wanna melee fight something that is be better fighting you at ranged. Yeah, and I do have a good one. You have a really good one. I I, I took um ooh, I took charge in my playthrough, which it, it right now is on hold by the way until I get my tutorial up for the people who have been missing it. Sorry about that. Um and I just like, man, I am so envious of like how good your charge is because mine is like absolute garbage in comparison. Uh, reload your gun. <laughs> that stops my progress. Yeah, I know. Well, you're almost done anyway. Your dude is like going the extra mile for extra credit here. But it's good, I guess, because there might be something in that little pokeball of a ruin. Nope, never mind. Looks like the Death Star again. They just all look like don't don't mind that tree. That tree is having a moment. They always do. They always do. Oh god. You know, it's not the goat folk you see, it's the goat folk you don't. And there's the seed so we're, oh good. I got upstairs immediately. Oh my god. We're having kind of bad luck. Go folk are not really that common in ruins. At least they I, haven't been for me. I feel like you haven't been noticing the trend of all the goat folk place it's been telling us about. Are we in they a goat seem... folk place right now? Not specifically, but every like secret we find has been about a goat folk village. So I feel like oh yeah, no goat folk. We're are... in the land. We're in the land of goats. We. we... They're very common in the jungle, but they're not, um, you know, the, the ruins are a completely different biome. So, I'm, you know, if there's go folk in the ruins, generally speaking, it's because there's a legendary there, which is not a common uh, occurrence. Take these daggers. Yeah, daggers. I always think that Elastine is worthwhile, but it, they are not. I'd pass on that. Well... Go down I there. I mean, I will go down. Yeah. Oh my god. Bring, bring. You want to pause? All right. Good, good stuff. I love fire. That's a hard stop. I just love I fire. Love fire. You know, I, honestly, the amount of fire alarms I hear, I'm rooting for the fire at this point. Oh, slippers. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Right. Can we go down yet? We nope. would love to find... Um, if we could find some crocusins, that would be ideal. We want to find you some crocusins. That's the other thing we need to find. Why? Uh, because... <laughs> well, <clears throat> can you can you guess based on the... The name alone? Well, they're made of crocodile, I assume... With the also very good. Crocs. Yeah, Ouch. they're they're shoes, um, and I mean you're not wrong. Um, so they give reputation to unshelled reptiles, oh. which uh, was the last thing you died to in the uh, Bethesda in the Todd Howard. Uh, what is it, Todd Howard Among Us? I don't get that joke, by the way. I do not okay. understand that joke. <laughs> Someone want to explain to me in the comments what Todd Howard Among Us has anything to do with Bethesda Sousa? It doesn't look like an Among Us, and it doesn't have anything to do with Starfield. Which is, of course, game of the year, right? St Starfield? Maybe. I Th don't know. Thousand Planets. I know nothing. <laughs> hey, rem everyone rem remember Game of Thrones? You hit times one. You did hit. Go down, you can you can fight them on the stairs. You can just continue to try and go down the stairs and fight them. This is a great position you're in. I actually totally f I'm I'm fine with this as long as you you're fighting that seed sower and as long as they're in melee range, you're good. The bag one is the sower. Yes. Yes. 
if you're in melee range they can't throw their seeds or at least they don't which is fine by me so many goats if there's one thing i'd love to see get a nerf it's seed sowers they should have like two seeds max oh i got some painted boots you do get some painted boots oh and we have to figure out that that's a recoiler for kya 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 there you go correct it needs a cell though it does need a cell we don't have to worry about that right now we don't we don't need to or want to okay you can throw a solar cell in it if you insist but i do okay all right uh be cool be cool go? huh your shoes they're probably yeah. in armor oh they're not in armor did I break them down? Ye maybe. <laughs> Disassembled the rifle. Oh Painted no, steel. I didn't pick them. I didn't pick them up. You didn't pick them up. You don't have to pick them up. I didn't. I gotta just look at them. You just gotta, yeah, just look at them. Oh, Darla should. I think we know everything should we need about some, uh, the dagger yeah, made of glass. New. Yeah, nothing new. Nothing new. I wish I'd put Chrome on my second monitor. I forgot to do that because I wanted to at some point uh, make a note of uh, we, like we could look through some of your lore and figure out figure out what kind of boons they are potentially going to offer by going to those historic sites. Oh, look at that. It's a water wheel. I love a water wheel. Why? It's they're just they're just cool. Come on. Okay. What the, you don't think a water wheel is kind of cool? Yeah, no, no, they're great. I just didn't know if mechanically you love them for a reason. Nah, the, I mean, they're animated, which I like. Uh, they do actually provide power. So, like, you know, if they are connected to a millstone, they will actually work. I, 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 just, I, think, I just think they're cool. Okay. Still waiting oh, for that. Uh, oh, 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 uh, I think. Oh, that was a freeze miner. Yeah, he died, but I guess he put some mines down. I have some recent uh, Rimwick, Rim, Rimwick uh, trauma. So, uh, you know, things freezing spontaneously is not, is not good for me. There's a single glowfish. Oh, weird. That'll be, a mi that. that'll be a freeze. Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Freeze mine. <laughs> Got it. Can I wait this out? Or yeah, you I... can. Yeah, just uh, wait a few turns. Yeah, you are you are reducing in temp. You're all good. Those are Mark II though. Those are kind of nasty. They make you go down to like two thousand degrees. You'd think that you would die at that level. Pretty sure at any temperature, like I mean, obviously hot. But also cold. If you get too cold, you will just instantly die. <laughs> well, at least yeah, you have let's a, get him, a, gorilla. You have an, a gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. What is it? Well, how did that go again? We we, we were stuck. Gorilla for sale. Gorilla for sale. Oh, oh. <laughs> you got him frozen. Now he's a frozen gorilla. <laughs> yeah. You're good. Sorry, sorry, bud. He'll he'll be okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh no no you want to stop? Oh my god I hate that. We need to we need to fix that right away. Sap is almost exclusively why I, I keep the option to not ignore trivial creatures off or on, I suppose. Because every time they hit you, they're draining all of your um, technology. And then, of course, they explode. And that actually does hurt you because it goes through your AV. And you can see, like, the, the explosion varies in size. It's... It, uh, it gets bigger depending on how much energy they successfully sapped. Yeah, you did suck out of my nuclear nuclear cell. 
Yeah, well, I mean, fortunately, your nuclear cell has so much energy that it would take a long time for them to drain it completely. But still, we'd prefer that we don't let them anyway. What? Where the heck did you come from, mister? Oh, well, we walked by a tinker. A turret tinker. That guy right there. Oh, to your left. So I want to kill that guy. You do want to kill that guy, yeah. Mm. You you can do either, honestly. Oh, nice charge. Nice. And then where'd he go? Well, where'd he another... go? Oh. Yeah, he's right there. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. <clears throat> chain, chain turrets are kind of a menace, but, uh, oh, there's, there's another one. There's so many of them. Well, the, uh, the turret, the tinker turrets, they, they tend to drop three turrets every time. But he apparently got to do more than three. He might have done a second. Yeah, he did a second. Oh, uh, gosh. A second pile of three. Pile. You. Oh, if you. Wow. Holy crap! Your charge is good. That was absurd distance you just charged. You are kind of eating damage right now. Yes. But I think. I think that was all of them. Everything. I think everything's dead now. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's just make sure. Uh, turret tinkers are kind of great for getting extra bits because you can follow them around as long as you don't attack them directly. Um, they'll keep dropping turrets and you can just like follow them and, and keep collecting extra bits. And like some of the higher tier ones that are dropping like, um, you know, incredible turrets that have all have nuclear or antimatter cells. It's just like, oh, god damn it. No, don't fight that at melee. I'm gonna run. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna run. Oh. Can I rebuke him? You can try. Go for it. Just hit left. Or you can click on him. Yay. Yeah, you did it. He wandered away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, I absolutely blow the shit out of that guy. Couple couple grenades would do it. Oh. There you go. Exactly two. Um do we know how to make EMP grenades? I do not believe so. Let's have a quick look. I think it's also I, I think it's N for tinkering. It is in fact K for tinkering. Oh, it must be N for something else. I think I have different keybinds for some reason. Oh, yeah, Ian Perry, Ian Perry, you, you, you already passed it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let's make Can four make of those. Four? Yeah. I don't know. That phasic power system is pretty, pretty useful. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I'll, make, I'll make four. Um, It really, like, I don't know. Sometimes it takes me a while to remember that certain mechanics exist in CUD, but uh, EMP grenades, I mean, they're kind of uh, the cure-all paramecia for, um, for for nasty robots, including saw handers. Nice. You, did you might have noticed he already got to drop his turrets. There you go. Mm. You're not going to be able to charge him. I, can I still can't believe your charge... I think it's partially because you're wearing wings. I think they do actually give you some extra distance. I also took the thing that um, makes my charge better. Traipsing mortar. Traipsing mortar. Talk to him? N yeah. Try chatting to the traipsing mortar. There you go. Killed it instantly. Yeah, I know you took the extra distance charge, and and that you have single-handedly um, con convinced me that that is an amazing skill, and I will have to take that in my playthrough as well. Um, but also, I think wings give you a little bit of extra benefit, but I'm not sure if mechanical wings, if that's true. I know it's true for the mutation wings, and that's one of the benefits of getting wings. It's one of the few ways that wings stays relevant, because though it's great to fly, um, if you're underground, you know, they're kind of worthless. 
So the fact that they give you extra distance on your charge is, is really nice. More chain gun turret tinker. Where did you go? I saw you. Tom. Maybe just, uh, all right. Nice. You can charge him. Uh, that beetle is not your enemy just yet. Oh, he managed to drop his chain turret. You know, uh, you know what's really funny is like I, like I say, I usually follow them around because I want the stuff that they're dropping, but more right. often than not, um, their own turrets end up killing them quicker than than like anything else. Because they're they've got pretty bad aim, <laughs> especially the chain turret ones. But like I find that they just like immediately kill the dude. Which is actually not what I want. Uh. Uh. We've had a pretty active first two floors of this ruin. Uh, we're probably going to end the episode soon. Well, let's uh, f finish this floor and then we'll we'll end the episode. Oh. oh my god. Good perfect chain uh uh charge right there. I guess it's gonna throw a grenade, but Oh yeah, yeah no, that's a good a great idea actually. I love that idea. Oh you're throwing explosive grenades. That's what I have equipped. Yeah. I thought you were gonna throw uh an EMP grenade. Uh, Is that better? Oh, there's a saw hander right to your low. I mean, you can throw regular grenades for these guys, too. They're pretty effective. Uh, uh -oh. they're pretty effective. Try shoot, shooting it? Uh, or, or, or do that. Yeah, that works, too. We might have to make some more of those. I know we've been, we've been using them kind of a lot. Which is good. I could also take the thing that lets me throw farther, so... Yeah. Ever since that one time where you told me to throw a grenade at him and I blew up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I did, I did do that. What a good moment. Yo, can we get, can, can you tell us your favorite moment of this series in the comments? Really fishing for those comments in this uh, episode. Yo, tell us your favorite kind of fish in the comments. In cut or not, just in general. Yeah. You like a nice tilapia? Let us know. I love you know? a I love a tilapia. I had a tilapia you once. Like a a, a a white fish snapper. A white fish. All right. Well, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing. And then talk about fish. Talk about fish. What's your favorite fish? Uh oh, spoiled. Uh oh, spoilers for next episode. The. Ugh!